Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about Mojo which was announced as a new programming language aimed at AI developers. This is built by this company called Modular who are one of the leaders in building AI infrastructure which means unlike some of the other developments which are happening in AI models like the improvement of ChatGPT, Modular actually focuses on the whole base where other models can be built. Right now, Python is one of the main languages which are being used to build all these models, but Mojo actually combines the usability of Python along with the performance of C. While Python itself is a pretty popular high-level language and it powers most of AI research that is being done today, it has some well-known issues when it comes to working with large workloads. And given the rate at which AI is progressing in 2023, it was just a matter of time before something like Mojo came along. Alright, before we get started, if this is your first time to my channel, I recommend you to sign up to my AI newsletter where I'm going to start sending some hand-drawn AI workflows that I draw for myself. So what exactly is Mojo? Code-wise, most of the syntax will look pretty much the same as Python. And as they describe it, Mojo is actually a superset on Python. So that means if you know Python already, you will be able to code in Mojo. The issue with Python is that in itself, it's not enough to do everything that's needed to develop AI algorithms, and usually it needed to work with other libraries written in languages such as C, C++, and CUDA. That's why Mojo actually combines what people like about Python along with system programming features that require the use of these other languages. And according to the founders, the performance of Mojo will be significantly more than Python. How much more? 35,000 times more. And they have presented this table where for a well-known algorithm, it takes 1,027 seconds for Python to complete it, while Mojo will only take 0.3 seconds. Now you might be wondering why it's called Mojo. So according to the founder, it brings magical powers to Python, including unlocking a programming model for accelerators and other systems pervasive in AI today. So basically, Mojo means magical powers. Also, you might have noticed this fire emoji on my thumbnail. That's because this fire icon is actually the extension of Mojo files. For example, Python files have a .py at the end, and Mojo files will have this fire icon as its extension. Now, this is pretty important if you're trying to get into the AI world as a researcher or a developer. Now, usually a lot of people who work in the AI industry on a technical level are more researchers than traditional developers. That means they're not spending their days writing small functions, something like a JavaScript developer would do. They're usually dealing with large data sets and models. However, Mojo's focus is to bring programmability back to AI. So if you are sort of an early stage developer and you're wondering how you can enter this AI world on a more technical side, the best strategy would be to get involved in the Python community and get started with Python programming if you haven't already. There's a lot of free tutorials where you can understand and learn the syntax of Python and it's actually much simpler to learn than something like Java which is very syntax heavy. Because Mojo is working to be a superset of Python, so any kind of Python knowledge will be critical to get in early on this whole Mojo revolution. And if you have some experience with Python already, especially with libraries like NumPy and Matplotlib, you should start with this programming manual right here, which shows you how to get started with its basic syntax. And if you have already been working professionally as an AI engineer or a data scientist, you should start with these Mojo notebooks, where you can get a proper introduction to Mojo, learn how to define your own type, learn how to write high-performance Mojo code and import Python packages, and many other things. Now, personally, I don't have a lot of professional experience in Python. I do know how to read and write some code on it, but this example is actually really good in understanding how Mojo works. So there is this tutorial where they implement a memset version optimized for small sizes using Mojo's auto-tuning feature. Now, this is actually pretty technical, and I personally enjoy reading code because I like finding flaws in it because my background is in testing, so this is really interesting to me. But I know since there's different kinds of people watching my videos, this one is definitely for those who have a technical background. All right, now let me show you how you can get started with it. Right now, this whole project is pretty early and the only way you can get access to it is to click this button called Play with Mojo where you can provide your own information and get early access. So I highly recommend filling up this form and get access to their playground. And they say they're rolling out access as fast as they can. I have already 
already signed up and I haven't received an access email yet, but I'll make a video as soon as I do. And until then, I highly recommend you to join their Discord community and keep an eye on the Mojo Announcements channel, where you can learn the current state of things. Like for example, you can only access Mojo via our playground right now, and it's not currently available for local download. So you can't really write code locally on your computer yet. You can only try it out once you get access to their playground. Now that's all I have for you in today's video. I hope you got some value from it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe to my newsletter and my channel and click like on this video. Till the next one, thank you so much.